What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a really cool team that I'm actually hyped to use. We got Life Orb Regilecki, Weakness Policy Dialga, Longside Kyogre, and last but not least, a Pokemon that I absolutely adore in Sword and Shield, and I haven't used it in a while, Togekiss. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button. Over 60% of my viewers are not subscribed. So if that's one of you guys, scroll down a little bit and get on top of that by clicking the big red subscribe button. But let's get started here. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Reg Lackey. And this time, it is holding the life orb. Usually, I have it holding the focus ash or a different item just to use it for speed control and big damage. But this time, I'm rocking with that life orb so we can actually Dynamax this Pokemon and deal crazy amounts of damage. We got transistor ability. And then, last but not least, the moveset that we're rocking out with is Protect, Hyper Beam, Rising Voltage, and E-Web for speed control. Right next to him is going to be our first Restricted Mod, and that is going to be Kyogre. Kyogre is one of the best Restricted Mods, even when Restricted Mods first came in here. So in Series 12 rolled over, there's no difference. There's no difference. This Pokemon is still dominant and really, really strong in pretty much every single situation. We got Drizzle Ability alongside with the Mystic Water as its item. And then the moveset we're rocking out with is Protect, Water Spout, Origin Pulse, and last but not least, Thunder, which hits 100% of the time in the rain. Middle left is going to be our second restricted mod, and that is going to be the Alga over here with the weakness policy. So if we can get our opponent to proc that, we can get rolling out here and do a crazy amount of damage. We got Telepathy as our ability, so an ally Pokemon cannot hit us, such as our Landris with EQ. And then moveset we're rocking out with is Draco Meteor, Steel Beam, both for stab, and then our two coverage moves are going to be Blizzard and Earth Power. Middle right is going to be a support mod over here, and that is going to be Gothitelle with that Shadow Tag and the Focus Sash. Shadow Tag is going to be really good because it allows our opposing Pokemon to not swap out. So if we don't want their, them swapping out, we can get in Gothitelle and kind of just control the battle from there. We got Helping Hand. We got Fake Out for Flinches. We also have Trick Room to, you know, set a Trick Room and try to take Speed Control or to cancel out Trick Room. And last but not least, we're rocking out with Taunt to Taunt up on opposing support mods. Bottom left hand corner is Tokus, and this is one of the reasons why I picked this team. Tokus is one of my favorite Pokemon to use on the rank ladder, especially in Sword and Shield. But ever since I would have to say, like maybe like Series 8, something along those lines, before even the restricted mods came in here, Tokus really fell off hard. It used to be like one of the top used Pokemon. Everybody used to use it with a weakness policy, with a fire coverage move, and then a fairy and a flying move. And you should just Dynamax and off from there. But Ever since then, like, nobody really has been using it, so I'm really hyped to actually use this Pokemon. We got Super Luck as its ability, alongside with that Razor Call that raises critical hit ratio. Then we got Helping Hand, Follow Me for two support moves, and then Dazzling Gleam and Air Slash for stab moves. Cannot wait to use it and showcase Tokus and showcase its power in these battles. But final Pokemon for the squad is going to be Landers. Landers, super, super good in most situations. It's got the Intimidate ability, alongside with that Assault Fest as its item, so it can soak up some special attacking shots. Then last but not least, we have two stab moves with EQ, and fly and then two coverage moves with payback and rock tomb guys you want to try out the team for yourself i don't even have to say it rental code is at the bottom of the screen but let's get after it let's hop on that rank double ladder look to get some wins with this weakness policy dialga kyogre life for regilecki and togekiss team let's get rolling here in battle number one going up against an ice rider calyrex team alongside with kyogre and then he has porygon 2 for the trick room and dd for the psychic surge of support and then regilecki and urshfu in the back end how should we go into this one how should we play it i'm kind of liking the gothitelle lead just so we can taunt pokemon alongside with fake him out all that good stuff so i really do like that if it goes into indeedy that's fine but i really want got to tell out here kind of just to support some pokemon and go into uh taunts in case he leaves a porygon too because you know that could definitely be scary so we're gonna go into got to tell here alongside with hmm what should we go into here could lead regilecki regilecki wouldn't be too bad i could go kyogre i mean helping hang with kyogre could be real good could be really really good so i might go into that i might go into that I'm kind of digging that. So, you know, let's let's rock it. I mean, if he goes into Regilecki, what can we do? Or we can go straight into Lando. Hmm. Who should I lead with this? Could go Dialga. Dialga ain't too shabby here either. I am kind of actually leaning more towards Dialga. Now I'm thinking about it. Now that I'm thinking about it, I am leaning more towards Dialga. Let's go Dialga. Let's bring Kyogre in the back end. And then last but not least, do we go Togi? I feel like Togi could be nice. Togi or Lando? One or the other. I feel like I'm leaning more towards Lando's. With that Intimidate, and it also has a Soul Fest, which is really, really good. Okay. Let's lock it down. Let's lock it in. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. I wonder who he's going to go into here. I mean, I'm kind of hoping he goes Porygon, too, just so I can, you know, pop a ton on that and kind of get rolling from there. But I really do like how I switched out to Dialga, because Dialga is super effective up against Elias. Pokemon has a great coverage move set on him. It's just going to work wonders. 
It is just going to work. We shall see who he's going to lead. What is this dude's lead? Poor guy too? Calyrex and Regilecki. So we might have to pop the Trick Room regardless here. We might have to pop the Trick Room regardless. And I feel like just Dynamax and Dialga could definitely be our player. Hmm. Could go E-Web, which could be scary here. He could go E-Web, which, which could be scary. And I feel like I still have to just fake him out. Calyrex could pop a Trick Room as well. I'm just gonna fake this thing out and you know I'm just gonna go for this uh I'm just gonna go for a steel spike into this thing. Gotta be my play, right? Gotta be my play, 100 percent 100 percent We might go Dynamax for Dynamax, but we have to Dynamax for Dialga and we have to get rolling out here in battle. So let's see. A little very close. I wanna I'm thinking of just popping the trick room right now. That's what I was thinking of doing, just popping the trick room right off the rip. Because he could be going for e -webs, but I feel like I have to utilize his fake out because he can go many different ways. Say he Dynamaxes the Caldex, which he could. Faking out wouldn't really do anything about faking out that slot or going into Trick Room wouldn't really do anything. But we're going to Dynamax for Dialga. Hopefully he's not Dynamaxing that Caldex because this could be a great turn by just faking out the Red Lucky and dropping a big old Seal Spike into this thing. So we'll see what he plays. We shall see what this dude plays. He does not do anything. So Fake Out's going to come out big here. Can Dialga go first? Just dump on this thing. It's going to be beautiful. Dialga does go first. Let's go. Yo, take this thing out. Dude, because I hate going up against Caldex. They're too strong. It's sashed? This thing sashed to get off Trick Room. Okay. That's fine. This thing is sashed to get off Trick Room. That is pretty nutty. That is pretty nutty. High horsepower. We're gonna proc our policy, which is wonderful. And that thing is not going for Trick Room. Okay, we love it. Love to see it. Okay. So from here, uh, what I'm thinking of doing... Oh, that thing won't take Buffett's tail. It's tough news. That is tough news. Uh, did we just take out the Calyrex? What do I do? What do I do? I mean, I could swap here. Which I'm really thinking of doing. Swap maybe in the Lando here. He wants to go for an E-Web and all that. But I think could go for an Ice Move. An ice Move is scary. You know, I think we should just swap into Straight Kyogre. No, we can't. We can't. We can't. We can't. So tough. Uh, Helping Hand could come out here. I'm thinking of just, you know, dumping on Reggie. Getting that minus one on him. Yeah, that's probably my play. That's probably my play. Take out Regilecki here, no problem. Even if he wants to go for an E-Web here. Yeah, there's the E-Web. And maybe we can pop a trick room next turn. Let's see. We shall see. I'll try to pop a trick. I might, I might try. I don't know if I should. I don't know if I should. That thing is orbed. Which is great. And this thing's going to go for another high horsepower. That's fine. Yeah, my boy is bulking. Through. Bulking through. So we're able to take out you, no problem. And put that thing down to minus one. I do like that. So this thing should be gone. Yep, Regilecki is dumped on. And he's going to bring out his next Pokemon. And the thing that sticks is I cannot guard here. I cannot guard. I cannot go into a guard. And I wonder who he's going to bring out here. But I really want to go for this Trick Room. I'm really, like, tempted to do the Trick Room. But at the same time, he has a Pokemon like Calyrex. So he brings out Kyogre, which, if I had to guess, is going to get that Dynamax. And what do I do? What do I do? This is so tough. This is real tough. We're definitely gonna go into a helping hand and we're gonna try to take out this uh we're gonna try to do as much damage as we can to this Dialga, which I think Wormwind's probably gonna be our play. He's probably gonna die next, right? We have to go for a stab move. We have to do super effective shots. I could have changed weather, but we do have Kyogre in the back end, so it's just like if we change weather, it's really not gonna do much because we're just gonna swap back into the rain and get rolling with that. But this battle is gonna be super super close. Super super close. We'll see how this one plays out. Because we do have Thunder on our character, which could be good. Could be really good. But I feel like maybe leaving in this Calyrex could be a tough news for us. But I don't know. We keep dropping it to uh, physical attack, which is real good. And then we have an Intimidate coming in the back end as well. So Helping Hand's going to poke out here again. Oh, he's helping. Wait! Wait a minute. He's Helping Handing. Now we are Helping Handing. <laughs> We're doubling down on the Helping Hand. Hopefully he's not able to take out my Diablo here. He goes for Geyser, and I feel like this is going to be able to take it out. Tiger's just a menace. Yeah, eat this up somehow. I love you. I love you, Diablo. That's a huge, huge eat up there. Huge eat up there. We're able to get off another worm one here, which is beautiful. And oh my lord, the Alga, chill on him. Doing some big old damage. Big old damage ain't even a word for it. And yeah, this guy quits. This guy turns off his console after that. Weakness policy, Dialga, just rolling out. And that's a sweep. We didn't lose any Pokemon. This guy turns off his console and we start off 1-0 for today's video. 
What a way to start off today's video, making our first opponent rage quit. Once our Dialga ate up that Max Geyser, the guy was like, nah, I'm out of here. And then we did some clean damage on him with that weakest policy proc, alongside with that helping hand for that Max Worm one. But let's go back to back here, hopping into battle number two, and we're going up against a Steam Engine weakest policy Colossal Team. Alongside with, uh, what is that thing? What is that? Buh -buh -buh. Zacian, Incineroar, Yavelta, who is really, really good in this series, and then he has Rillaboom. And then, like I said, the Urshfu and Sea Magic Colossal combo. Okay, so from here, I'm thinking of just leading Kyogre. But I do not really want to bring Kyogre, just because the sheer fact is, uh, Robin really does work on that, so. Landers could be our lead. I do like Lando here. I really do like the Landers lead. And the, the problem here is going to be, uh, if he leads that combo. And if he does, I could just go into Gotham Tell here. I really do like for that fake out. So, you know, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to go into the Alga. And I don't think we should bring in... Hmm, do we bring in Kyogre? Like I said, the problem is just that Robin. But Kyogre is really, really good in a lot of these situations. So, you know what? Togekiss? Hmm, we're going to go Kyogre. I, I really do not like it because if he does bring Robin, it's just a free kill. But I feel like Kyogre just does work on a lot of these Pokemon that we need him. I really do like it. I like it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's get this Lando rolling here. If he leads to Steam Engine Colossal Combo, I'm just going to fake out. And I'm going to go straight into a Dynamax. Go into a Max Quake. And we're I do like that. I do indeed like that. Let's see what let's see what this dude leads. I'm hoping he actually leads that. Let's see. Yavelta and Zassi. So those are with these things. Okay. So Intimidate's going to work actually really good here. Onto that. Uh, onto that Zassi. I do dig it. I do dig it. I'm with it all day. I could also Dynamax, but I think he is going to uh, protect. I do think he is going to protect, so I could uh, drop my rocks. I could drop rocks on these guys, and I could pop a Trick Room. Trick Room could be nice here. Instead of faking out, we could read the Protect onto the Zacian. And just pop a Trick Room. Because, look at his speeds. I mean, the speed probably favors him. Wait, right, let me see my uh, Yveltus speed. Or my... Lando. Yeah, I think he developed this faster. So, you know what? That's exactly what we're going to do. I might drop a Rock Tomb. I could go for an EQ, but I don't like that. I think we just drop a Rock Tomb. I th that will slow it down, though. We do not like. Which we do not like. I could just go straight for an EQ. I just don't think that's the play. No, because, again, I do think he's going to protect Zassian. You know, we're just going to drop this Rock Tomb. We're going to see how much damage we can get off here. And I am just going to trick him. I should trick him. We're gonna we're gonna read the protect from the assassin here. He dynamaxes your belt. Okay, so he's gonna dynamax your belt here. We're gonna. Uh, I'm hoping that the assassin protects because if it does, this is a great turn for us. Because he could just go for a straight uh, a straight uh, airstream here, which I'm I'm actually hoping he does. I'm hoping he goes for an airstream and we can get off this trick. As long as he doesn't double down into my uh, into my Gotham Tell slot, this could be good. But we're hoping we, he protects, right? He does. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. We read the protect, and we're hoping he goes for an airstream here, right? Give me the airstream. Let's go, yo. So we can boost that speed all he wants. Do some damage on my land out. That's totally fine. We're hoping this thing's not policy. That could be a problem if it is policy. We are procking it here. We are indeed procking here. Maybe we'll go for a rock tomb. Build, chip off some damage. Please do not be policy. We are dropping the speed back to the It's all good. It's all good. We're popping trick room. It's not weak this policy. That's wonderful. And Trick Room is popping. It's a great call for us to go into that Trick Room as he's airstreaming up. We can now go into free EQs, right? I'm going to drop an EQ. And what do I do from here? I guess I just helping hand. This thing's kind of just useless now. We might as well helping hand. We might as well, right? We might as well go into it. And we'll save our Dynamax for probably like the Alga. We're just hoping. We are just hoping that he does have Rollboom in the back end, but I believe he does, right? I believe he does, which definitely could be scary for us. Definitely could be scary for us. So tough. That is so tough. I knew I should have brought the Tokus. I knew I should have brought Tokus. That might come back to bite us, but I do like where we're sitting here with that Trick Room. We're starting to waste out Dynamax turns. We're going to go into a Helping Hand here, and we should just be able to take out Zassi, no problem here, right? Lando should go next. We do. We are going to deal some big damage to our Gotham Tell. It's not going to affect the Yeti but I just want to take out the Sassy. Which is exactly what we did. So I'm with that all day. I'm with that all day. I don't mind dealing damage to my Gotham Tell if we can take out his ass on the field. It's just really big. He runs the darkness. Take out my Gotham Tell. He goes after Lando. That's fine. Lando's gonna eat up. Lando's getting another turn. So he's wasting out Trick Room, but more importantly, we are wasting out Dynamax. Which is really, really good. Really, really good. Not these Dynamax. 
Okay. I'm with this all day. I'm with this all day. And that Soul Vest really helped us do that. So he's going to go into that. Uh, hmm, anything I can do here? <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> That's a huge problem right there. That is a problem. He's going to pick up the double kill. Ah. I mean, if we can get off a fly, but I don't think we can. Let's try to get off a fly, but I'm going to go for it. And taunt him? Taunt who? So I got to taunt somebody. I have to taunt somebody to try to make him like not get off any like protects or anything later in the match. Could be good for us. Grash guy comes out here. This is just why well, I should have brought Togekiss over over Kai over here. Could have worked wonders for us. And I'm hoping we can taunt this. This actually works wonders for us. Taunting this thing so he cannot protect next turn because this thing's gonna take out my god tell. We can now Dynamax or Dialga and get one from there. Because he can't protect, we can Dynamax Dialga, we can hit him with an ice move, try to do as much damage as we possibly can. And his Dynamax turns are over, and he's going for the speed boost there. I'm fine with that. Trick Room is out and about. I think we have how many turns left? Trick Room, two more turns. Two more turns. So, Dialga and Kyogre going to come out here. We're in a Dynamax Dialga yet again because it's really, really good Dynamax Pokemon. And I just got to protect the Kyogre here. He can't protect. If he wants to swap, he can swap, but we're going to drop a big old Icy move on him. Big old Icy move on him. Try to get off as much damage as I possibly can. And we are going to switch up the weather. It is what it is, but we have to. We have to do that. As of right now, we have to do that. We also could protect, but I don't really see that. Let's Dynamax. Let's go into the Hailstorm. Let's get after this Roll Boom and just protect this guy. Have to protect him. But if we get rid of Roll Boom here, it's pretty much GG's. We pretty much have this match in the bag. I do like where we're sitting. So the taunt was really good. He cannot protect. He cannot waste out a turn here. Because say if he had protect ready as an option and he protected this turn, the Blizzard would have no shot at actually killing it. He could just hop in here and grassy guy next turn. And he just straight up withdraws real. That's going to be the thing's play. He's going to go into Urshifu. Okay. Urshifu's going to poke. I'm trying to think of how... This one could be good. This one actually come really close. Yaga could clutch it up for us. Could indeed clutch it up for us. We'll see. We'll see. Because we're going to have two more turns after this. I could just go straight into a Thunder. Actually, Thunder won't hit in the rain. Water Spout could be our play. Or we can just go for the Thunder. It's up to us. Protect from the Kyogre coming out here. And this guy might actually... This might come back to bite this guy. Swapping out that uh, Real Boom. Because the turns on the Glide might start getting wasted. But we go into a Hailstorm. It's not very effective. But still, it's chipping off some nice damage. That's some lovely damage. And now we get the Buffets flying through on the field. Look at this. Little Hail coming down all day. He goes for a Snarl. Who's dodging that? Oh, no. We blocking it. So, Snarl's good. Mm, Snarl's big. Snarl's big news. Okay. That's fine. That is fine. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. Let's get this done, Dialga. Okay. So, Worm went into the uh, Urshfu slot, right? Gotta be. Worm went into Urshfu slot, and then... Or we could Ice. We might have to Ice in that Yvelta slot, because Snarl's really going to be doing us dirty. Yeah, Snarl's going to be doing us dirty. So, you know, let's... uh. Let's ice over into that Yvelta slot. And then... Let's see if we can get this Thunder to land. I'm with it. I'm with it all day. Let's try to get this Thunder to land. This could be big for us. Last turn in Trick Room, so we could end up seeing some protects. We could end up seeing some protects. Such a good battle. Such a good battle. But if we did bring Togekiss, it would have been GG's. He has Urshifu, Yvelta, and Robum on the field. We could have just steamrolled through this. He ends up detecting that. Is he going to double protect down? It is not. So Thunder's going to come out here. It's going to get blocked. And hopefully this uh this Hailstorm does take out this Yvelta. This could be good news for us. Let's make it happen. Make it happen. No, not even close. Snarl's going to be doing this dirty. We need some crits out on the field. We need some crits out on this field. Okay. How could we... Steel Spike could help us out. Might want to go into a Steel Spike. Just for a defense boost. This is tough, yo. The snarls are doing us so bad. So bad. Ain't even a word for it. It's not even a word for it. Okay. Hmm. I mean, if the grassy terrain does leave, we have a we have a shot at winning this. How many turns left in the terrain? Let's see. Is it one? Two. It's gonna be one after. So we have to we have to take out a Pokemon here. have to take out a Pokemon here. And I'm thinking of going after Urshfu because you know Urshfu is just Landis. It's lightweight. I'm gonna try Landis Thunder. We're gonna double down on Urshfu. 
Ivelta is scaring me with the snarls, but it'd be like that. Oblivion Wing comes out here. He's gonna chip up some damage, but he's just trying to get some HP back. So we, if we could take out Urshfu here, this could be huge for us. It could be really, really, really big for us. Close combat comes through. Can we eat that? My boy Kyogre. Love you, dude. Love this Kyogre. Love this Kyogre. I mean, mm, still tough for us. Wormwind's gonna fly through here. That's, this isn't gonna kill, but we're hoping the Thunder will. Oh, yo, no way. It does kill. Yo, we need this Thunder to land onto the Shibelta and kill it. If this happens, we have a huge shot at winning this battle. Make it happen. Make it happen. Thunder. Ah! I hate this game. I hate this game. How do we miss our Thunder, dude? Miss our Thunder? What you mean? Bro. Bro. I get that we're minus two, but that still had a huge chance of picking up a KO. Mm. Okay. It actually works out good. Because, you know, he's going to come in here with Rillaboom and he can't reset the terrain. So if we protect with Kyogre, the terrain's going to be over. But at the same time, at the same time, the Yavelta just strictly outspeeds us. So we're going to drop Blizzards here. 100% hitting. And we do I protect or do I stay in? I'm just going to protect. Maybe he'll read my protect. He's probably going to read my protect. I probably should have stayed in here. But the thing is, like, Yavelta can go after or outspeeds us. Let's see. Hopefully one of them at least goes after me. That could be huge. Let's see what happens here. They got coming in here. What a play by him. What a play by him. What's he going for? Oblivion wing again? He goes for Snarl. What a play by him. Minus three. We need crits. Only way out here. Only way out here. Or freezes. Something along those lines. Buffets are chipping. Tough, tough news. What's he going to go for here? So tough, dude. I hate this game. I hate this game. What a battle, though. What a great battle. Our opponent played really good at the end there. I'll give him that all day. I will give him that all day. What a, what a, what a few good plays by it. By. He's just rolling out strong. Grass disappears. Oh, my lord. Can't believe we missed that thunder, though. What are we doing is dirty. Blitz is going to fly through here. And... I mean, I guess Origin Pulse has to be our play, right? It's got to be. I, I can't risk another Thunder miss, and, and plus, what are we going to really do? We, we need to hope that this Blizzard really takes him out. Snarl's going to poke out here. We're just like minus 15. Oh, that's GG's. That's GG's. The Snarl ended up taking us out. Dude, Yabelta, we left him in there way too long. Came back to bite us. Like I said, yo, this Pokemon is phenomenal. We got speed, though. Can we get some crits out here? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely no damage. We're minus four. We're minus four. Yeah, dude. Yabelta's super strong in the series. We let him hang around a bit too long. Should have brought in our Togekiss over a Kyogre. Like I said, usually I don't like to bring in uh, Kyogre's with Rillaboom. And I made the mistake of doing that again. Should have went with my gut there in battle number two and not brought our Kyogre and brought our Togekiss instead. But we can redeem ourselves here. This guy has Rillaboom. So Togekiss is coming in here. And Kyogre, you are not. We're leaving him out of the situation. He also has Shadow Rider Calyrex, who he's probably bringing. Zassian, who he's probably bringing. He has uh, Blastoids, Incineroar, and Defiant Thunderous. Okay, so Togekiss is definitely coming in here. But I don't know if we should lead him. I feel like Regilecki could be easy. But again, Robin does work up against Regilecki. But we're going to lead the Tokus alongside with that. The Alga, and then last but not least, I'm really liking my first. Let's run back in support. Could do a screen. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down and look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. And more importantly, grab ourselves a winning record. A lovely winning record. But yeah, Kai Ogre, I just can't do it anymore. There's been too many times where I brought a Kai Ogre. Up against a uh, team with a Roboom and Kyogre not even getting in one turn really or doing anything good because Roboom's just there posing a threat and knocking out one shot, no problem. So I, I, I'll, I'll probably never do it again. <laughs> I'll probably never do it again. He goes into uh, Blastoids alongside with Calyrex here and he can fake me out. He can fake me out all day, so I could double protect. Might have to be my player. Might fake out my, my Reggie here. Might fake out my Reggie. If I had to guess, he's going to fake out the Reggie. So let's just protect Reggie. And go into a Gleam. Gleam, or I could Air Slash. I think Gleam's going to be your play. Let's just Gleam up. He has to fake out, right? Maybe Dynamax to Calyrex. There's no way he Dynamaxes a Blast with you. Don't, I just don't see it happening with a Reggie like you on the field. There's just no way. He's going to straight up withdraw Calyrex. I'm with that all day. Withdraws Calyrex and he goes into Rillaboom. So Wilbur's gonna come out. I was gonna air slash in that slot too. That would have been really good. I could hard swap him and go into Dialga after this and just air slash. 
Good luck. Let's see what he does here. No way, dude. No way he goes into this. No way. That's 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 a bold move there. Bold, bold move. Okay. Which, I mean, he had this play kind of like figured out, I think. It works, though. It works. But I was just not expecting the Blastoise to get a Dynamax here. It works, though. It works, though, because now he poses a threat on my Regilecki. I could Dynamax Regilecki. I could Dynamax Regilecki. Who's in the canyon need? Who's that going after? Go after Reggie, please. He does. Okay, cool. So we protect up. We eat up. I'm with it all day. I'm going to pop a Gleam here. I wish I would have Air Slash there. Gleam comes out here. Chipping up some mean damage on the roll. Mean damage on the roll. We get the double crit. And I could go into another Gleam here. Vortex damage is chipping, which is definitely scary. Uh. Hmm. I could go on to follow me here. I think I'm going to do that. We're Life Orb. I'm going to go on to follow me. And just Rising Bolt to just see, right? Rising Bolt is probably a better play, right? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's rock into it. He wants to go for Grass Guy. We'll follow me the shot. All day. All day, baby. Oh, this thing's faking me out. Never mind. Dang it. Thought he was going into Glide here. Follow me, he's going to poke here. Okay, we'll keep a Reg Likely alive, but I can do that next turn if I want to. I can do that next turn if I want to. Reg Likely flinches, and this thing's going for. Ooh, a Hailstorm. I'm trying to. Mmm, that's tough. He can go for Double Protect now. That might take me out. Probably going to take me out, right? Nope. Togi eats, dude. Togi is a lovely little Pokemon. Okay. Now, the problem is, do we think Canyon Need damage is going to do that much? I mean, we're still sitting with it. We're really good here. Problem is this canyon aid damage is just chipping on us. It's just chipping. Look at like look at that. He protects we're dead this time. Actually, ooh, grass train might help us out here. But the buffets are doing us dirty. Buffets are definitely doing us dirty. Everybody gets heals. Everybody gets heals. Okay, uh. There goes that. And we get chipped up. Chipped up all day. Okay. He double protects, it's tough. We could go into the follow me, we could go into the rise of voltage. Gotta be your play, right? It's gotta be your play. Let's follow me. Gotta be your play. Like I said, he could double protect and take us out with the candy knee damage. Follow me, poking here, and let's see what he does. Let's see what this dude's rocking with. He goes into Grand Sky. That's exactly what we wanted. Okay, so no protects. That's totally fine. I'm with these turns all day. So Red like he's gonna go down here, do the life orb and candy knee, all this chip damage, but we're gonna get off some big damage with this rise of voltage. Oh, he has a Wakan Berry! Wakan Berry rocking out with that thing. God dang, nice, 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 nice item by him. Alright. I mean, I'm kind of cool with that. Kind of cool with that. Kind of cool with that. Because Dynamax is over. Candy Need Damage is almost over. Um, we do have Lando, right? We do have Lando, I thought. We, didn't we bring Lando? With Intimidate on these guys. Could work well. And I could Dynamax the Yaga. Yaga's really good Dynamax for him. Really, really solid. Or I could Dynamax Lando. I'm thinking of Dynamax and uh They're both really good. They're both really good. We kinda gotta see what other Pokemon he has rocking in the back end. And I'm kinda leaning towards a bit more onto the uh the Diago side just in case he's which he probably does have Zassian in the back, right? Probably has Zassian in the back end. So with that, Diago can actually eat up uh the Behemoth Blades. Here. I'm just going to Dynamax. And I'm just going to go straight into a Hailstorm. I'm going to take out Robin because I do not want Glide flying through here. Hmm. What do I Dynamax? Oh, this is super tough. I don't like this one bit. I got a free EQs. EQs are free for us. But dude, the Grace guy is going to do his dirty. How much damage is he really going to do onto our... Landers. That's why I was thinking of Dynamax and Landers. It could have been the play, but I feel like Dialga is definitely much needed for this back end. For the, his back end Pokemon. So we're going to Dynamax Dialga. Going to be close. Going to be close, dude. Going to be real close. Let's see. Let's think about this. Let's do it. Let's, just do it. Let's get rocking here. He's got to be going for the glide, right? Robin's so OP, dude. We soak up pretty easily here. And Hailstorm's going to drop. This one's gonna be lovely. I wonder what the uh, what's called going for here. 
That's going to drop him all day. Beautiful. And we have EQ flying through here, which cannot hit our Dialga because we have telepathy. But I really do wonder what he's going for with uh with the Blastoids. Telepathy pokes out here. We do have the Soul Fest, which... How much damage are we going to do? Take it out, please. Not even close. Not even close. And Icy Wind's going to fly here. And e, dude, Icy Wind's scaring me. The big damage. Some big damage. Some big damage for an Icy Wind. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Who's he bringing out here? Who is he bringing out here? I wish I had protect on this Lando, man. I really do. I really do wish we had protect on this Lando. He's probably going to bring out somebody who can just like, speed me and just take me out. So, Vortex damage. Oh, my God. He's still out on the field. It does too much. Vortex is OP. Vortex is so OP. Look how much damage this does. Ah, dang, dude. God dang. Okay. We have two more turns left in Dynamax. We could read a Protect coming out here. He brings out uh, Zassy. Let's see. Yeah, Zassy comes out here. I could read the Protect all day. But should I read the Protect all day? That's the real question. I don't think I should. I don't think I should read the Protect. I think I have to get after this Pokemon, right? Doing that. The BQ. We have the EQ. Let's do it. Send it. Send it. Do not protect Zassy. If Zassy protects his GGs, we need him not to protect. But chances are, dude, they always protect turn one. Zassy's just such a threat that, like, protecting him is just, like, one of the best plays ever. No, he doesn't. Sacred Sword comes out here. That's the weakest possible proc. So you're saying there's a chance here. It's Icy Wind. So dirty. That does me so dirty to Icy Wind. Okay. This is tough. This is tough. We're cutting it close here, but yo, it's not looking good for your boy. Not looking good for your boy. We go to Max Quake. Run it up. Run it up, baby. This thing's 100% dead. Go on, get him out of my face. All right, so this thing drops. We need him to throw out a special attacker. We need him to throw out a special attacker, which we do have. Do we have one more turn left in Dynamax? I think we do, right? Should have one more turn left in Dynamax. Why is this gonna be? So, why is this gonna be so so close? Why is this gonna be so so close? 118. He has speed advantage on us, which is tough news. Hmm. He's just bringing it out for the final Pokemon. Grass disappears. I kind of did like the grass because it was helping us out with the Buffets. Dude, Rovim just still doing us dirty. Still doing us dirty. Calyrex. Calyrex comes out. He did, didn't he swap out early on with this thing? Yeah. The real boom. So we knew it, he had to sing the whole time. We are plus one on special defense. Which is and then from here... Might be sashed. We're weak this policy, so quick's gonna be your play. We need special defense boost. We really gonna lose this one. <laughs> we really, it's coming down to the wire, man, because it's gonna bring it down to sash. Buffets are gonna KO it. No, dude. We're gonna. We're hoping this thing misses his icy wind. That's our only way out. The hail stop. Never mind. Never mind. The hail stopped. GGs. GGs. So my thought process here was like Calyrex goes down to the buffets. We take some buffets damage and then we're on like you know like three HP and then we just need blast to miss. But it's over with. It is over with. We'll drink a meteor over on this slot. But yo, GGs. We got one and two for today's video. Not bad. All of our battles were really really close and definitely could have went either way. So I take that as a victory. Honestly, I really like this team. Even though we grabbed ourselves a losing record for today's video, I still think this team is very, very strong. And if I use it a little bit more, it can definitely gel over and I can get used to the format with these guys. But Pokemon like Dialga, I don't really use too much. I wasn't trying to use uh, Kyogre as much, considering we going up against a bunch of Thrill Moons. But um, it is what it is. It is what it is. We didn't we didn't get the Dynamax Regilecki. I feel like Dialga was just such a prominent Dynamax Pokemon. But Regilecki, even in the battles that we got him into, wasn't really doing that much considering we were going up against a Pokemon that can really count him. Like I said, Rillaboom was out on the field. Rillaboom pretty much counters Regilecki really, really hard. With the Grassy Guide, considering Regilecki is just such a lightweight, Grassy Guide can just dump on that and it can dump on my Kyrie at the same time. So, like I said, losing record, but still great battles all around. And I feel like if I use this team a little bit more, we can definitely get a lot better with it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.